I know I'm late on this, but today we're going to be doing the Heavenly Events and the Fusion Category Team Missions for the new Vegito Blue, what's it called, the Burst mode that actually is out for the 8th anniversary. Now, even though I'm a little late for this on the JP version, the global version, you guys will probably be, you know, much appreciative of this when this ever comes to global in the, you know, few months or so. Right, but we're going to be doing the Heavenly Events mission first because I know that's something that a lot of people will likely struggle with over the Fusion Category team. But just to note what my settings are here, so we have the Heavenly Events team selected. We have AGONS tier type characters only. I have a team cost of 400 or lower here. And then on top of that, I basically turn on all debuffs except for stun. You'll see that in the team, you know, in a second. I turn off damage reduction 50% for the enemy if the attacks are from an AGONS tier opponents. Our team is going to be full of AGONS tier units, only those typings, so I think it'd be dumb if we turn that on, especially if we don't have to. Um, I have physical types, 50% uh, reduction, and then 200% extra attack and defense for the boss. Give him no damage reduction here, no extra attack here, attack uh, only 25% here. Uh, then I give him uh, full defense right there, um, you know, 500 extra points could work. Actually, I might do this. Yeah, that's probably going to be better. It'll make the enemy much less tanker. Since we're going to be stunning, it doesn't matter really how much attack they have, especially if it's not too much here. Um, I gave him max HP, but I could probably also turn that off now for the 6,000 points. Again, max HP right here. The HP doesn't necessarily matter as much, and they're not going to be really that tanky. Um, they don't take damage if you do an attack that's less than 100k damage. It doesn't really matter. I don't have the locking. The random locking is very annoying. Minus three key, and then no items with support memories. Should be pretty simple to get this done here. So if we take a look here, this is the team I'm running. It's the Heavenly Events category team. Double A Joe Kid Gohan leads right here. And this team is essentially just full stunning going on here. I mean, there's not really too many options you can select out of these character rosters. But you could probably bring like, you know, this Goten. He does lower attack. If you're going for an attack lowering strategy, you know, this guy actually also lowers attack as well. Um, that could be something interesting. This Gotenks also does have a medium chance to stun. He could be an interesting option in this team here. But that's pretty much the gist of what we're running here. So let's honestly just hop right into it. We should be looking good here. And... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we're just going to come in and we're just going to start stunning. We're going to... Um, and just kind of whittle the enemy down, I think, until we get all the way to the end. Now, I do want to get as much key as I possibly can, I'd say. Just because, of course, we have the less key. Perfect. Okay, that's really, really good. But it's not going to be that much of an issue with the Kid Gohan kind of moving around here. So, I would like to get Goku Gohan over here. And we actually have the Scouter, <laughs> funny enough. Okay, so one thing about this Kid Gohan here is that uh, his unit super attack does actually give him the high chance to stun. But on top of that, we're also able to um, guarantee stun the enemy if Gohan gets attacked first within the rotation, right? So this gives him extra attack, which is pretty fine. Okay, well, the screen just went out there for a second. Um, but this gives Gohan extra attack right here. But again, he does guarantee stun for the turn specifically. Keep that in mind. It is a one turn stun that he gets when he does actually get that. But it was just one of the scenario where we, we saw the super attacks. So it was like, hey, we're just going to go ahead and stun you. This Goku Gohan, he has a 50% chance of stun, which maybe we'll see an effect here. We did not see an effect there. This court is really annoying. Vegeta's not on Heavenly Events. I completely forgot about that. I assumed he was. Okay, that's my fault. You know, Vegeta not on the leader scroll. That's fine. We're, we're... Actually, no, he should be. He was in the options to use the units under Heavenly Events. Oh, no, 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 no. He is under leader scroll. We're just getting less key. Never mind. I'm just... I'm quite a fool. Okay, Um, Super Vegeta does also guarantee it's time for the turn, but I don't think we're going to really worry about that. So I'll get this with you. We'll get this here. And then Vegeta will get this. So Super Trunks as well. If there's a Vegeta... On the team, okay, with well, the cord is just acting really, really weird. Uh, <laughs> I, I should fix I was having an issue with like just okay, great. Maybe, maybe I still have to look into my settings because I'm having issues with the cord still. But, um, essentially, it was capturing the screen really, really bad in terms of lag, but now it's just phasing in and out, which is great. Oh my, are you kidding me? Can you not please have issues? Oh. 
Oh my goodness, okay. But I, the Vegeta has a high chance to stun if there's a Vegeta on... The Trunks has a high chance to stun with the Vegeta on the team. Obviously, Super Vegeta does have his guaranteed stun for the turn as well. And this is kind of how we're just going to go through it. We're just going to be stacking and stunning. Not really any issues going on here. We don't really need items. If we do, actually, uh, I might as well keep the friend... Oh my goodness, this is annoying. Can you stop? <laughs> no, stop doing all that. We're just going to stun all the way through here. And if, if we do fall low in HP, we have the Kid Gohans that can heal us with their active skills. So that's kind of the gist of the team. Uh, again, thinking of any other alternate options, you could go with the physical route. And then you could have, I don't know, you really don't want to go the physical route. Because you want to um, get Ajo Kid Gohan. Very important for this run, I feel. Because of his stun, his support. He'll be really, really good for you. And he's the only heavenly events that you could actually use. I guess you could use this free to play Piccolo, right? But not really going to be something you want to go out of way to use. But physical does have some options as well. But not really a lot there. I mean, the Angel Goku here... Doesn't he? Yeah, he has actually a medium chance to stun. So he could be an interesting option, I guess. Um, I mean, you could technically bring S tier Super Boo in here if you're going for like attack and defense lowering. Because S tier Super Boo, um, he does great lower attack and defense. Ajo Kid Gohan, the. Well, let's just clarify. Ajo Super Saiyan Gohan also lowers attack and uh, as well. So you can go for like an attack debuffing situation. Even if you have the Gohan, the Gotenks and Piccolo, right? They could stack up over time. They could be a solid option as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, at this point, I'm just gonna get super attacks. We're gonna do like a little fast forwarding here. And now the core doesn't want to do anything after, you know, the whole gameplay was playing and I just sit here. Oh, maybe, 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 I don't know. We're just gonna... <laughs> you guys get the gist of the team. Now it's not even coming back. I don't even know what to do. But we're gonna... I'm gonna fix this cord. Then we're just gonna probably fast forward the rest of this. And show you guys that. But that's it for me. Again, if you want to tune in for the actual last part. And then the fusion part. Feel free to do so. So I just realized here, um, <laughs> I can't stun anymore apparently. This is cool, I guess. I don't know why. So I guess I'll just exchange it to Goku Gohan. Um, because we can't even stun anymore. So what's the point? That's just, I don't know why, but okay. Um, I, they said, <laughs> they let me do that, um, uh, where I could actually disable you know the enemy being from being immune to stuns but i can't stun him anyways i guess anymore sure um but i'll, I'll go back to fast forward and we should be able to still get this but it's just gonna be more annoying
Okay, so this is very scary right here, uh, but I think we got it. <laughs> this got a little close for comfort, but I think we should be okay. I'm gonna... I want to grab this with you. The orbs did not fall the way I wanted it to, but I think we still kill with Super Vegeta here. We're gonna heal a little. As long as we don't get instantly super attacked, I think we're fine. Um, yeah. So, are you gonna kill your Vegeta with your guaranteed crits here? No, you're barely alive. Please do not super me right here. Watch me die. Oh, no way. I die right at the end. This is, Oh, no. No! You know what? It's fine. We'll just... I'll just come back until right at the end. I... I'm gonna go cry. Wow, okay. Okay, so this time I have it in the bag. I just wanted to show this here. Um, we finished them off. Honestly, it's not difficult to go ahead and get it with this team. And uh, this team is probably the... I wouldn't say it's easier than the fusion team to get the max points here. But, you know, maybe you don't have some of the certain fusion units. Like, I feel like LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta could potentially be an important role for this one specifically. This is not going to do damage. AGL LR Gohan has stacked up to, like... He's like at 1.2 million defense. Um, <laughs> well, we're not going to take damage here. So, no matter what, we're good next turn. So, especially since he's super at the end. Uh, keep in mind, there's a thing where bosses, you know, have a cooldown after they super attacked. So, since we literally got supered right at the end last turn, we don't have any worries here. So, we're good. Um, let me know what y'all think about this team build here. Again, if you think you need any substitutions or stuff, let me know. I think I'll just do the fusion video separately so feel free to check that out that will be out within either today or tomorrow depending on the situation right not much going on until super 17 releases so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video